Today's video is going to be mostly voice and less head. That's what she said. <laughs> I got beer in one hand and pajamas on the legs, so I don't really feel like it. Capiche? Just kidding. On a serious note, though, we just passed over 600 subs and things are going great. So please, please, please keep subbing, keep liking. You guys rock. I got my hands on the Keychron Q5 and we're going to give it review, show the build process and the mods that I applied. If this is your first time getting into custom keyboards, need a full size and that's what's been holding you back, you've got to check this out. I wanted to quickly mention a new Kickstarter that's just coming out for an audio equipment bundle. It's the Commander M1 and it looks like they're aiming to compete with the Go XLR. I'll drop a link to their Kickstarter and more information down in the description below. Now I built this for a buddy of mine at work. He's a retired veteran, lives alone, all his kids are grown and moved out and he saw my keyboard at work one day and he said whoa I kind of want something like that so he said doesn't matter how much it costs give me the best of the best except for I need a full size that's not going to cost 500 plus dollars so we found this guy the Keychron Q5 oh foam oh foam stop oh foam oh nope nope put it down put it down move on to the unboxing good boy instructions won't need those USB-C very nice, threaded, and it comes in adapter so you can plug it in USB-A or USB-C. Nice. Extra gaskets and screws. Also feet for the bottom, though it does come with those attached. More instructions, won't need those. What? Cool. Screwdriver, Allen wrench, keycap puller, switch puller. Though I'm not a big fan of these. Nothing else hidden underneath. All right, let's take this thing out of its condom. I mean, protective shell. Oh yeah. Self-facing LEDs, nice silver gray. All the key inputs you'll need. Just look how beautifully made this thing is. Good job, Keychron, for real. I'd buy a hundred of these if I could. Let's get into the specs of the Keychron Q5. It's a double gasket design keyboard, meaning it has a little bit of flex, but not too much. CNC aluminum body, ports macOS and Windows, has a thousand hertz polling rate, which is pretty standard at this time, hot swappable switches, south facing switches, of course, and QMK and VIA supported, meaning you could basically map any key you want to this keyboard, which is sweet. It comes in black, gray, and navy blue, and can come fully assembled with a knob and a knobless version, but also bare bones. So let's begin disassembling this thing. Take the back plate off. Oh, and look at the back of the PCB. Nice work, very high quality. Taking it out of the face plate, there is some foam in the middle as well. Really nicely made. So the first mod we're gonna do is we're gonna take two layers of masking tape and put it on each edge of the top frame. This will help reduce any ping that might happen. So this is a pretty standard mod to do, but as I was going through, I noticed that it already has this kind of mod already on the frame. So you don't really need to do the extra step. I just went that way because I want it to be perfect. So it's really cool how Keychron actually listens and follows things their community does to improve their boards. Amazing stuff. Make sure to stick around for that sound test. Now that we've got everything taken apart, we're gonna start modding the stabilizers. Just gotta open up my box of lube. I mean, keyboard stuff. Yeah, there it is, right on top. Ew, browns, what are these doing here? Now we just need tissue paper for other things. Just kidding. All right, dielectric grease. Now, if you've seen any of my videos and also any keyboard videos, you'll notice this is the stuff they use to mod the stabilizers. I'm not gonna go in great depth, but basically you just take your wire, wipe off the factory lube that's on there, put it on your own, put it back and snap it in, presto uno magic. Now that we've got the stablers back in place, we're going to put the top plate back in along with the foam and screw it together with the PCB. And of course, we're going to go with a nice little tape mod. Two layers of masking tape right across the back. This just gives it a nice better feeling and sound. Put everything back together. And for switches, we're going with Gatterin Oil Kings. These are some of the best switches you can buy. They're perfectly out of the box. You never need to lube them. They've got a very thick spring. I'll leave a description down below for more specs. Can I do magic just like other keyboard videos? Uh, no, I can't, sorry. One of these nice PPT keycaps we got on Amazon for about 30 bucks. And you gotta check those stabs right before we put everything back together because you don't wanna put everything back together, notice the stabs at ping and start all over. But these sound perfect. Can you actually believe that a guy who's never put a keyboard together came up with this color scheme? It is so beautiful. It looks incredible. It's got aerospace themes, space themes. It just looks perfectly built together. And really, he just threw this together within a day. Now, here's a little preview of the flex of this board. It's not too strong, but it's just the right amount. Honestly, I haven't seen a big difference when it comes to flex on any board. It's just a little bit of the sound profile. Thanks for watching Lucky Strike Tech once again. I hope to see you guys soon. Please like and subscribe if you like 
like the video and want to check out more. Here is the sound test. And I'll do a little drum beat for you beforehand. Is that enough?